Hello, everybody. My name is Jim McWiggin, uh, known as Mr. Mac. Um, I'm a teacher here at Smyrna Middle School, and uh, this is my first year here at Smyrna Middle School. Now, this is my town. This is where I went through school, graduated from Smyrna High School, and uh, went out into the world and, uh, you know, tried a lot of things. One of the things I never knew I wanted to be at that time many years ago, was a teacher. I had no idea that I wanted to be a teacher. I, I had aspirations to be all kinds of different things, uh, from an artist to an actor to whatever. And, uh, you know, you, you, you go out there and you try and you, you venture forth and you do your best, and you realize some of these things, uh, they didn't burn in your soul the way they did. But then I was lucky enough to uh, become, uh, I was a counselor at Ferris School, up in Wilmington, Juvenile Detention Center. And then when they, uh, a few years later, they built uh, the Newcastle County Detention Center. Uh, I taught art there and I, I was a counselor and it was, it was great, it was wonderful, it was fulfilling, heartbreaking as well. Uh, because you know, the, you, you work with these children, these kids, and they were, you know, I, the youngest kid I ever had was 11 there. And the oldest of course was 18 because it was a juvenile facility. Um, but you work with them and, and you, you, you really hope that you've made, uh, and a lot of, a lot of times with recidivism in two weeks, you saw them coming back and it was just heartbreaking. But that's when I started to realize I, I wanted to work with kids, but I wanted to work with younger kids. I wanted to be able to plant a seed, you know, and uh, fifth grade is perfect for that. A 10 year old is, a, is old enough to kind of have a, a, a bit of a sense of themselves and, and they, they kind of are starting to understand sarcasm, which is my second best language. And uh, be able to plant a seed in a fifth grader. So hopefully, maybe, even if just one of them down the road, when they're, they're, they're tempted to take a right to try this, go into this darker area or down this alley with you know, friends or, 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 or people who are pulling them that way, maybe they'll make a decision and go left instead, you know. Uh, that was my fondest wish. So that's what I did. I, I, be, I was, uh, became a fifth grade teacher. And I've been a fifth grade teacher for the last 20 years at JBM. Uh, before that, it was North Elementary. But, um, you know, I was given this opportunity to come here uh, to seventh grade uh, and, and eighth grade this year because of my love of reading and writing. And that's what my classes have to do with. Uh, I'm, my, I'm an elective teacher, I guess that's the correct term, uh, the, you know, but creative writing and reading, novel studies, uh, literature circle type things. Uh, you know, two, of, two subjects that are closest to my heart. Years ago when I had my classes, my fifth grade classes, I, I, I was self-contained, so I taught all the subjects, but every subject has to do with reading and writing. And reading a novel, writing, creating something, breathing life into characters and, and, and creating new worlds, all that kind of thing has always been a passion of mine. And to be able to like, throw it out there, get it out there, open up my students' minds and get them to do that to, to, to feel that even the ones who were like I was, you know, I, I didn't realize I loved to read. I didn't know I was going to be a teacher. You know, you, you, you never know. I've always been able to excite and get the kids kind of uh, moving and shaking where reading is concerned and where writing is concerned. Because, you know, everybody's an individual. I don't expect everybody's going to be turning out and doing the same exact thing. You know, we're all going to be reading a novel, the novel a novel together and our writing that's very subjective that's very individual you know it's creative writing we're going to have things to do in prompts and i'm going to get their imaginations up and out so that'll be my goal this year hopefully they're going to enjoy coming to my class um whenever they have it and uh anyway that's it um i can't wait i'm very excited uh, for the school year to begin. And uh, anyway, take good care. Uh, and don't worry. I know, I know what I'm doing here. So, bye-bye.